well, hello, good morning. Day two of MB15 2019. Friday the 8th of November, and it's a quarter to seven in the morning, Greenwich Mean Time. It is trying to spot rain. That's where I stayed. There's the entrance. And up that way, I head off to, after turning right, I head off to Costa Coffee. Um, sometimes tech is with you, sometimes it isn't. Generally, I'm in favour. A second spoon. And I think it's open. And there it goes you are. There is a door. We'll see. We're off. And it's 20 past nine um, circumstances. Interesting thing here. And the toilet door coming out, it says to the bar. There's a hint there. Anyway, this is Exile Apollo, brewed by Exmoor Ales. Sorry, it's Exile Apollo, brewed by Exmoor Ales, local. And last night the tap was open. Only opened on a Thursday night after five. 4.2% alcohol by volume. Nice tap, it looks warm. Oh. Anyway, um, triple American hop, golden American hop tail. Fuck up. Here's my butcher. Yeah, mm. Nicely hoppy. Well, I think it might be slightly. Mm. I'm going to say B plus, which is, I'm going to say 3.1 out of 5, because point ones. Um, yeah, I think it might be just on the turn, a bit like I am anyway. There you go. So, the first day wrap is up, we started the podcast, three segments, four segments actually. Now, uh, this is Hanlon's... Storm stay 5% alcohol by volume, it says citrus and toffee. It's a nicely presented pint. All carbon for Mr. Manning, obviously. Mm. Yeah, so the rich. I wouldn't quite go as far as toffee, but it certainly has a richness, and I'm getting a little bit of citrus hops. And it tastes strong. I'm going to say B plus in a bit. 3.3. I didn't realise there was this close. And it says open. I think it says open. If not, the suit. This also start again. This always causes problems. Patrons project. About to stick this into untapped SKGM Green Line Forms, one northern one, double dry hopped IPA, 7.4% alcohol by now. Now back in the game here in Inga, Topaz, Citra, and Columbus. Wow, I nearly fell off my chair then. And I'll get a tick down for the Jimi Hendrix, but we will fall in Mr. Manning. Good. Anyway, A minus, that's really good. That is hoppy, fruity. That is. I like that. Loaded from Dark Revolution, 5.6% alcohol by volume. And look how close that is to spilling. It's only the earth with wobble. And it could. Murky. You like milk. Mmm. Fruity, tingly. B plus plus. Let's go with 3.6. More patrons project, 706, 8.2%. I feel I may be snoring before long. However, 
This is real wood floor for Mr. Manning. Strong, just about tasty alcohol, extremely fruity, that's tropical. I'm going to go A minus because it's good. It's very good. It really is. It says it all. Here we go. Mini strawberry shake. Table be at 3%, which is just as well. After 8.2, I think. Anyway. Wonder Beyond Brewing from Manchester, Manx. Look at that for artwork. Anyway, listening to covers, Mr. Manning, who will work. Oh wow! That's <laughs> strawberry, a little bit chalky. I wouldn't have expected that. I'm going to say B plus in a bit. That was a bit different. I mean, like difference. Oot. U T E West Yorkshire IPA. North Brewing Co. 7% alcohol by volume. Yeah, I had to scan the barcode. And it's murky as hell but it's from the People's Republic of Yorkshire. And what a great can. Smells fruity. Mmm. Cleveland's Korea water. That's a tip then. Kind of spicy and peppery and fruity. A little bit tropical. A little bit bitter. A little bit B plus plus. Because I say B plus plus. Okay, this is the last. I'm going old school. Sir James. This is from Topsham Rory and this is their best bit of 4.3% alcohol by volume. And this goes back to the 1950s. Sid. Oh boy. Okay, so that's a standard bitter. It's a B plus 3 out of 5, 2.0 out of 5. Oh, uh, getting a bit sleepy. 